Hello, my friends. In the Smodlink project, I am building one of the three infantry figures that are included in the Modlink kit of the Panzerkampfwagen in scale 135 from Tamiya. As you can see in my Panzerkampfwagen 2 OSFC video the box includes the manual, parts, photo etched and miniature decals. Yes, the infantry sprue is included as well. Let's start cutting. Smoothing out certain parts using a cutter and two types of sandpaper. A coarse and a fine one. Smoothing out the connecting lines for a more realistic look. Using the cutter carefully in the opposite direction to avoid cutting or damaging the parts. Gluing the parts. Testing the placement of the rifle on the hands of the figure fits nicely. Filling the gaps with ready filler diluted with water.
after it's dry, with a wet brush, I am removing the excess filler. Gluing the ammo pouches. Attaching the portable shovel. Adding the gas mask. Placing the bag. Gluing the water bottle. Spray primer. Dark flesh painting the face and hands. German grey painting the helmet, jacket and the gas mask. I forgot to mention that the face isn't yet done. I will get back to it. Fixing this small mistake. It happens. Resuming painting the jacket and gas mask. Dark grey painting the pants.
dark green painting the collar and shoulder straps. Semi-gloss black painting the boots, ammo pouches and a portable shovel. Black painting is done and I also painted a leather chin strap for the helmet. Dark green painting the bag on the chest and will let it dry before doing a second coating. Cocky Brown painting the bag on the back. Dark yellow painting the bottom half of the water bottle. Semi-gloss black painting the upper half of the water bottle. Red-brown painting the water bottle strap.
Desert yellow painting the shovel's wooden stick. Gray painting the symbols on the color, shoulder straps, buttons, belt, etc. Black painting the eyes. Black washing. Brown dry brushing to give the illusion of the dirt in the battlefield. White dry brushing highlights on the face and hands. With a soft wet brush, taking away the excess. Glued a small piece of chipboard to use it as the rifle sling. Red-brown painting the sling and the rifle's wooden parts. Gunmetal painting the rifle's metallic parts. Matt Varnish My first ever figures are done. Hopefully you will like them.
hit the like, subscribe and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.